Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the M&S Food Collection. This is the After Dinner Mint Collection. It was $18.12 at Target. <laughs> um, M&S uh, is a UK brand, uh, brand from the United Kingdom, but you can uh, find their... Um, you can uh, find their items this season at Target. So I'm gonna give that to you. It looks fancy. It you does sure look fancy. Open it? Well, yeah, there's this time. It says transforms to reveal a. Kevin covered up the. Transforms to reveal a standing tray. Okay. So you're paying. Trying, I've opened boxes and course through the floor, slung things everywhere. So, that's so he's been. Oh be wow, there's a lot in there. Ooh. I don't know how it transforms though. You want me to do oh, it? Oh, wait. Very easy. Very easy. There you go. Uh, I was thinking they would be tilted up for some reason, but they're, uh -uh. I don't know what the point of that is, but whatever. <laughs> it's just, it's, I, it, can you tilt it a little so they can see it real quick before we dive in? Yeah, that's nice looking. Um, there are six different uh, varieties in here of these. It says, from mint creams to infused chocolate ganaches, crunchy batons or mint chocolates are the perfect end to a meal. An assortment of mint flavored dark milk and white chocolates. Um, and these are good. These are good until April. So if, I, I like to tell you that because if you can get this stuff after the season when they put them on sale and you don't have to pay $18, yep. then that would be a good time to get them. Kevin was saying when I was taking my picture, he didn't understand the what's the point of the tray. The only thing I'm thinking is if you're having a party, a lot of times you want to, you use- Was that just to make it fancy or anything? Well, you use different trays to elevate the food, uh, to liter uh, literally elevate. elevate the food. And um, I have trays, those three tiered trays. Yeah. It's not just to look fancy, but it's also to bring it closer to you as you're standing there getting it. So I think that's why they did it, just to make it fancier. Um, so, why don't we try the white first? The white crunchy mint baton. Crunchy white chocolate with black Mitchum mint and mint sugar inclusions. What's up? Oh. Um, will you hand me that? There are nine servings in the box. Four pieces are 160 calories. I love the texture of that. I do too. It's like white chocolate with big hunks of sugar crystals in it. Mm -hmm. And the mint's really nice too. Mm -hmm. They're like mint though. Mm. It's stronger than what we're used yeah. to. Yeah, it's nice though. I can see after dinner, Absolutely. wanting something to kind of cleanse the palate a little bit. This mm -hmm. would be a nice, almost breath mint kind of level of mint. It's yes, it's very strong on breath mint. What I like about that white chocolate is it's creamy. Creamy white chocolate with sugar crystal in it. Very, very thick and creamy. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think it's delicious. It's not something that I would have any time though. I like it how they're specifying after dinner because I think that's when you're going to want that. Yeah. Um, with the milk chocolate. Now we have a milk crunchy mint baton. Crunchy milk chocolate with black <clears throat> Mitchum mint and mint sugar inclusions. I like the addition of the chocolate. The milk. The milk chocolate added a little bit more um, depth to it. Mm -hmm. But I didn't get it right at first. You're instantly hit with like mint, mm -hmm. and then the chocolate slowly like builds into it. Mm -hmm. Not like that, where it's like one thing hits and another one hits, and the um, the milk chocolate actually comes across to me as sweeter it does, than yeah. the white. I agree. The white seemed um, 
very very creamy right and but so not sweet right so the milk actually seems very very sweet mm -hmm. but it has the same texture the same nice texture yeah, of those the little gritty pieces. sugar pieces okay yeah, i really like that it's really now nice. the last one you probably have already guessed it's the dark dark crunchy mint baton crunchy dark chocolate with black menja mint and mint sugar inclusions thank you You immediately get a different texture. Oh yeah, it's a, a like a snappier mm -hmm. texture. And when they say dark, they mean it. Mm -hmm. It almost has an oily texture. I'm so glad they put the little sugar crystals in there though, because they didn't have to. They could have just left them as chocolate. Yes. And uh, but those little sugar crystals add so much texture and, and dip, makes them so much different. If you are a fan of, of, yes, of a very, very dark chocolate, you will greatly appreciate that. Because I think the quality is terrific. Oh, yeah. It's good dark chocolate. Really terrific. It's not for me or mm -hmm. Kevin at all because it's so dark. It's literally like drying my mouth mm -hmm. out right now because it's so dark. I mean, you don't even, I forgot there was mint in it. It, it, <laughs> it, it ends, yes. The other ones at the end, you're still getting that really strong mint. Yes, yeah. By the end of that one, you're like, wow, that's some dark chocolate. Yeah. And yeah, the mint's like an afterthought. Mm. So it's really good quality um, and not my choice. Out of those three, I think we'll disagree. I like the milk. You like the milk? I like the white. Yeah. Um, I like the, the milk as well, but the white was my favorite right. of those So three. see if we got a box of this. She would eat we can one share. Time. That's the good thing. Are we okay. going to eat the milk button since we know that these are dark? I was wanting to get it over with. Yeah, but they're so dark, though. Okay. Milk, chocolate. She didn't want to end on dark. No, I'd rather we end can, on we some can sweet. Do it. Here, okay, which one do you want to do? The button or the, the dish? Uh, let's do the that one. The uh, dark mint. Dark chocolate shell filled with dark chocolate ganache oh, okay. infused with mint leaves. Hmm. It has a ganache. Mm -hmm. I have this in brain and blood. I mean, a napkin. Of... That's again so dark. It's too. But I don't even tell if there's mint. I can. I, mean, it's there. I don't care for that mint. That mint is, uh, they said infused with mint leaves. It literally. Tastes like you took a little leaf and you're eating it. You're chewing it. it. Yes. Some people do that. It tastes earthy. Um, I get that. I get that too. Uh -huh. It tastes. It's a different mint for sure. Yes. Very, very different. It's it's uh, like the the mint before was like a sweet, sweeter mint. This, like, a, like a breath mint. Or this is mint. not like that at all. This no. whole, that whole thing for me. I agree. So you have the, the dark chocolate and then you have that earthy uh, leaf. And um, no, I agree. It's all that bad, is yeah. a pass. Yeah. Okay. The next one is a dark chocolate mint fondant, dark chocolate shell with black mincha mint fondant oh. filling. This is a typical. Yes. White cream filling kind of. Love the texture. It's very snappy. I think the filling is a little runnier than our York. Oh yeah, definitely. It's more like a junior mint. I'm Quite so glad to get the flavor of that other one out of my mouth. That um, that mint's nice. That's just a regular what you would consider like a like a junior mint or a York pepper pie. It's kind of got that same kind of mint. But it's amazing how that is. I expected it to be like the baton except lacking the little crunchy pieces it's not to me it does not seem near as dark i guess because of the fondant filling could be the chocolate it is a dark chocolate but it doesn't come across near as dark as that baton yeah, it didn't have the bitterness in it. no not at all okay the last one is milk chocolate mint fondant yes please let's end on something sweet uh milk chocolate shell with black mincha mint fondant filling
and it's not snappy, mm -hmm. but at least it's sweet mm -hmm. and very creamy. That's one you could take the whole thing and lay it on your tongue. Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. It's um, the mint's not nearly as strong in these like little buttons. No, it's not because I think the cream, the fondant, is taking away yeah. some of the mint. The, yes. The best mint is in the in the little sticks, the batons. It's the strongest mint. The, I think it's the best mint. If, so. Yeah, if you want a stronger mint, definitely go yeah, for one of the I like batons. That um, if you want a lighter mint, uh, like if someone were to offer you something out of this box or you saw it at a party, um, the lighter mint is going to be the little discs. Um, but I just would avoid, see the thing is, oh no, okay, they're different. I was going to say, both of these um, darks, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but you can. Yeah, these are the ones you want to avoid. Yeah. The tall ones, the tall dark ones. Those are the ones that <coughs> literally taste like leaves. You um, might like it though. You might. If you, I guess if you're one of these tea people that you like, like a, tea. an earthy tea. Yeah, really, I, I was thinking when I ate it, it's like this is kind of like a mint uh -huh. and a tea. Then, yeah, then you might appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I just don't. Um, my favorite one in the box is the white crunchy mint baton. Um, mine's probably the milk baton, although I really do like the little cho milk chocolate discs. Too. That's going to be my second choice. Yeah. But you said you like the stronger mint. The, the batons yeah. definitely have a stronger mint flavor. Yeah. Um, they're good. I think they're a little overpriced for what they got, but you get a lot of them. I think you're paying for a fancy box. Yeah, that's what you're paying I think you're paying, paying for. for a transforming box, and I would rather have a cheaper price and not have a transforming box. Yeah, because those after after eights or ambies or whatever, after you can buy eight, a whole yeah. box of them uh -huh. and put them out on a dish mm -hmm. for probably, what, five or six bucks, mm -hmm. and, and you get tons of them, and, and they're just as good. This is something. It'll be interesting, and I wish Kevin and I got to see the sales of these because this in particular, all the other things from M&S, um, I have said you should go get them, especially the shortbread. You got to get that shortbread because uh, you're not going to get shortbread like that. Uh, this though in particular is something that I can't imagine Americans wanting to spend $18 on this box when we have so many other just as good mints that are cheap. Yeah. A box of Junior Mints, I'm telling you, you can't beat a box of Junior Mints. I love them, especially they come out at Christmas in the, the Christmas box. Phenomenal. Uh, but Junior Mints, Andy's, York Peppermint Patty, you just, you can't beat those for a great price. So I don't know, unless you're buying this and giving it as a gift. It's like a good gift. This would be the one I would pass on. Out of yeah. all that we've tried from the M&S. And I do think it's a really good collection. Yeah, it's good. I think it's good. It's just not a, it's not a thing you're gonna sit around and just eat. It's, but I think it's really it's, for a party. It's for a party, and I think it's I think it's too much money. So for the price that you pay, even though I like it, um, I would just stick with what you can get locally, yeah. unless you're giving it as a gift or taking it to a party. You might right. have to show up with something, and you're like, ooh, watch my fancy box. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.